Kling AI just launched the video to audio effect. Today I will show you a useful way for beginner to restore old photo using HitPaw Photo P and Kling AI. Let's get started. Make sure you have HitPaw Photo P installed. I have put all the free links in the description. Try them soon. Once it's open, head to the home page and click on Image Restoration, then select Get Started. In the top right corner, you'll see a Restore Old Photo prompt. Click Remix to load a pre-made template that we'll be working with. Drag your old photo into the workspace. Below, you'll find options to select or customize the image size. If you want to keep the original dimensions, open the Photo Properties, check the image dimensions under Details, and input them manually. Once done, click Generate. While the image is being generated, you can import other photos and repeat the process. Simply drag them into the workspace, set the dimensions as before, and click Generate. Once the first image is ready, you'll notice that although it's slightly blurred, it has successfully restored most of the facial features. For example, the freckles on the children's faces are visible again. If you want an even clearer image, click the first mark on the image to open the Photo Enhancer window. I recommend using the face model here. You can also choose whether to upscale the image. I suggest selecting 2x upscale, that should be enough. Click Preview and wait a moment. Wow! Now the facial features are much sharper and more defined. That said, some details like the freckles may be softened in the enhanced version. Personally, I really like the colorized version even if it's slightly less sharp, it has a lovely vintage feel. Which one do you prefer? The sharper modern version or the nostalgic colorized one? If you're satisfied with the result, go ahead and export the restored photo. Now, let's move on to Kling AI. Drag the photo you're happy with into the interface, and enter your prompt. This prompt was generated by ChatGPT. Make sure the sound effect is turned on. Please note that there is now a time limit, so be mindful of that when using it. I selected Professional Mode and clicked Generate. Alright, now let's take a look at the result. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe our channel, and click the link to enjoy the AI world.